Now summer is just a few weeks away and as you're planning your family adventures, consider the artistic route. That's right, we're taking you on a tour of local murals and meeting a few of the artists along the way. You know, a mural is like the first indication that there's a group of people out there that just want this place better and more beautiful. Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley are already a sight to see, and now visual artists are adding to their awe. One of them is Brandon Bullitt. His newest mural is on the side of George's Majestic Lounge in Fayetteville, creating a colorful mix of musicians. With a lot of the shows that I've seen at George's, it makes me think of 70s and 80s album covers. Fayetteville's downtown square features a lot of outdoor art. This Fayetteville is my favorite Ville mural by artist Olivia Trimple is a hot spot for selfies. Public art is surfacing in Springdale too. It's very colorful, very lighthearted. Erin Ashcraft is the artist behind Arkansas Heat. Her work is one of seven new murals downtown. It was inspired by my childhood. Local artist Octavio Logo finds his inspiration in the stories of people who've come to call our area home. He's kind of this goddess coming from Mexico to the Ozarks. This piece, Agave in the Ozarks, is on the wall at 8th Street Market in Bentonville. People is very, I feel like, hungry to see different styles, different messages, different different ideas expressed. You can find Octavio's art across Northwest Arkansas, including at the newly renovated Rail Yard Park in Rogers. Its tall water towers transformed into art installations alongside slides and a splash pad. It's pretty much like inviting people to go biking, move around the thing, walk. Walk up the street in Rogers and you'll find works by Samuel Hale. But it's an honor to be, have a mural among so many great artists. Hale's Revenge of the Buffalo Mural is painted on the side of a train car overlooking the park. They just let me go wild on a train, which was cool. Just a few steps away, his Rosa Parks painting. It echoes a theme of many other murals, Unite. And it's not just local artists making that statement. Internationally known artist Nina Chanel Abney is from Chicago. You know, I usually use bright colors, something to draw in the viewer as they're passing by. She came to Bentonville to paint a building alongside the bike trail. My interpretation of the theme Unite is thinking about what's currently going on in the last year and just kind of historically and thinking about it can't be unity unless everyone is respected equally. Hers is one of 12 murals with that theme, all organized by the group Oz Art NWA to bring world-class art to our area. We partnered with the Unexpected Project out of Fort Smith who helped us um, make the project happen and just kids it did our curatorial group. The Unexpected first brought street art to downtown Fort Smith back in 2015. It's a production of 646 Downtown that brings all kinds of artistic expression to the River Valley from as far away as Ireland, Portugal, and Brazil. And the best part, you can enjoy all of it at your own pace. Drive or walk by or linger a while. It's all accessible and free family fun to add to your summer bucket list. Well, thank you to all the artists that took yeah. time to speak with us and provide us with additional mm -hmm. video to show off their work. Yes, and we asked you to send some photos of your families by some local murals, and you did not disappoint. It was so good to see so many people have already uh, yeah, embraced sure. the visual art that we have here in Northwest Arkansas. Um, so that's what you're taking a look at right now. It's just people from around the community taking pictures at uh, murals. And like we said, you know, the good thing about the murals is that they're accessible, they're yeah. free, you can plan trips around them. So, you know, if you go to 8th Street Market, you can see several murals. Plus, you know, have lunch with your family. That's right. Get on the Support bike trail. Local. Go to the momentary. So uh, this is a great way to get out into the community uh, that's pocket friendly. That's right. You can support local, head out, take a s selfie at all these murals, and then go check out what the downtowns have to offer. I love it. As you were uh, talking to your artist, you had Brandon, and yeah. you talked to Aaron. What's yes. something that you learned about their work that you didn't know? Uh, just how passionate they are about it. You know, they, they really had a, you know, uh, their heart was connected to what was going on. Sometimes I think about murals and I'm like, yeah, the artist was asked to do this, so they're doing it as a job. But really, it was a passion. It was more mm -hmm. than a job. It was more than a, they were asked to do it. It was a passion project of theirs. Right, same. I just learned that, you know, artists, there is kind of a method behind the madness, and there's always a reason for oh, why yes. they're putting things out there and where they're placing it. Uh, when I was talking to Samuel Hill about yeah. the revenge of the buffalo, uh, he was saying, well, you know, they ran off the buffalo to put the railroad tracks in, so this is kind of like my revenge and the buffalo <laughs> taking 
over uh, Coming the, back. the train car. Yes. So that was super interesting. So Great love, stories. love, love the visual art that we have here in Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Yeah. Get out there and explore and make sure, share, share your pictures with us. Share your pictures with us. We're still having pictures come in. Even yesterday we got some more. So please do share those pictures of you with murals in Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Yeah.